Hi. If you want to meet people, if you want to ask questions, Discord is your thing. And Nick has just put something on there and it is a long complicated thingy. This thingy, right? Another alias. He says he uses all the time. Now, before you just go copy pasting anything from the net, you need to uh, read and analyze what is this thing going to do. Of course, I trust Nick, that's no issue. He's an Arch Linux member. But the thing is, um, I want you to start reading more. Control C. So this is a thing um, that I'm going to clean up since uh, the alias is called clean up. It's going to clean something. And I see already a dash R here and a dash Q. So what I like you to do, if you find something on the internet and say, oh, this looks like it's going to solve my, my issue here, um, then you first read things. So you type manual or you type dash dash help or dash h and you start reading. The Q stands for query. Query is to ask something, query the package database. This operation allows, etc., to view things. And the R is a little bit more tricky. R means remove, right? You don't want things to be removed just by accident. So this is the guy that we're looking into. So this code, I've never run it. Nick uses it all the time. So let's analyze it. Is it uh, okay to run it? That's the thing. So the Q stands for a query. It wants to query something. You go and you scroll down and you look at query. Where's query? Upgrade as this one. Query options. Okay, found my query options. So my ask options. T. T. What's T? T stands for unrequired. Restrict or filter output to print only packages neither required nor optionally required by any currently installed package. Hmm. That's good, right? Means remove anything, well, query anything, not remove yet, query anything that's unrequired. Restrict or filter output to print only packages neither required nor optionally required by any currently installed package. So the orphans, the things that you are kept there and um, in the red it was needed for building, for instance, but we don't use it at this point in time. That's the T. Hmm. All right, D. D says restrict or filter output to packages installed as dependencies. This option can be combined with minus T for listing real orphans. There is the word orphans, packages that were installed as dependency but are no longer required by any installed package. So these two, well, seem to fit together, seem to work together. And the Q says quite. Show less information for certain query options. This is useful when Pacman's output is processed in a script. And this actually is a script. The, this little thing here is doing its own thing between these uh, quotes, or how do you call these things here in English, right? In, in between there, he's going to do his work. Now, step by step, you do a pseudo Pacman minus Q, right? TD. Let's see. Or maybe T. Okay, a lot of things. Okay, T. And let's now add TD. Uh huh. All right. All these packages. And well, let's go up so we see the code. And a Q. Q, T, D, Q, right? Check. That's it. Oh, that's a little bit less. So this is the things that I can remove and I agree to that. Yes, I see that's okay. So these things are, well, packages that we use for certain builds. I see that those names pop up. Fine, so we have a list and this is the only list that we want to do something with. And what would, do we want to do with it? We want to RNS it, okay. RNS, what's RNS? Scroll up, you go to remove section. Where is it? Nope, back down here, sync. Oh, nope, scrolled over it again. Slower, here, remove. Then you start reading again. N, no save, instructs Pacman to ignore file backup designations. Normally when a file is removed from the system, the database is checked to see the file should be renamed with a pack save. Okay, so 
no that's a good idea not to do it otherwise we get more files and it's the thing the, the alias is called cleanup I mean you will get more files it's not cleaning it's making it more dirty so no. and it's a good idea and S is recursive remove each target specified including all of their dependencies provided A they're not required by another package so no breakage and B they were not explicitly installed by the user so that's super basically we've read everything and we set we analyze and say okay this looks like a super thing it's going to get rid of these things and if there are dependencies well he won't do it because uh, it will break the system so the alias will work we've analyzed it and it will work so basically I'm running it and I'm putting it in our new bash RC just in a few minutes now so this is the list these things can go mm -hmm. nothing important at all it is okay uh, quite a bit of size I'm, I'm uh, amazed all right 560 megabytes it's nothing it's not uh, it's quite a bunch and that's it so there you go we have now a new uh, element we'll call it cleanup with a small c but that's uh, just a minor um, well change and this is an awesome alias thank you nick